Hi, so up until now we almost finished uh, our website, building the most of the logic for our website. Um, in this section and the upcoming sections, we are going to talk about a little bit more about the design, the layout of our website, and get it uh, uploaded to the uh, Bitbucket or GitHub, whatever, and uh, wire up a database and try to show it to the world. So the first thing we want to do is showing the user how many items are there in his cart. In order to do this, we already had a cart summary method in our shopping cart controller. This, show, this cart summary shows a partial view. And what that means is the partial view makes the user see it in like a navigation bar or in the side on one of the sides of the views on some other page. So we have also child action only, and this means that we don't browse to maybe like store and then to uh, shopping cart controller, like, and then go to cart summary. No, we just show it as a, uh, from a partial view. So let's go ahead and add a view for this um, cart summary. And from here, click on create as partial view and just like, let's see if it's like that and add. Now our partial view is gonna be quite simple. It's going to show the data in the cart count from our shopping cart uh, controller. So if you go back here into shopping cart and see we have here a cart count, which gets the, how many items in the, uh, uh, in the cart for us specific user. So now we also want to add a category uh, menu for the user to choose from. This also is gonna like like our store uh, view, like we have a bunch of items like electronics, um, home appliances, whatever, but it's going to be shown and in part of the side of the page, just like in here. Let's go ahead to our store controller here and add a method here We'll call it a uh, category menu, so public. And we also, and as you can see here, we added a list of uh, categories which we are going to show as a partial view, as a partial view. And we're also going to add here a child only attribute, a child action only. Um, let's add a view for it. So add a view and make it as a list. Make the model class to be category. Yep, right here. And create this partial view. Yep, seems right. Add it. Now let's go ahead into our uh, site layout to add those two partial views. So go ahead here and to our share and layout. And in order to do this, we need to add an HTML render action. And basically this allows us to add a partial view. So go here and add it. So as you can see here, we added a cart summary, which is the action method inside the shopping cart controller. And we added that as a, and we're going to render that action. And we can just do the same with the uh, category menu. So let's just copy that and go outside of our navigation bar and copy here and say category menu and for our controller to be store so let's just build that and let's go ahead and one so as you can see here it showed us the category in the middle of the page so let me show you how we are going to update that to show it in the side 
So as we have added the category uh, menu here, which is going, going to show the name of the each category that we, that we have in our store. So as you can see here, it shows it showed us the uh, categories in uh, uh, in this left side of the page, and we have here the card. We can uh, see that we have nothing in the card yet, but we still have this. We can just uh, add this uh, part of the page. We are going to modify it uh, again to make it more um, visually appealing. So if we go here into our store and electronics speaker and add to cart you can see here that the cart is now one if we go to into our anything the cart is still one we can go again like home appliances no I don't have any so new lamp and add to cart set two alright so now we are going to add to delete all of this here because we don't need it so let's go here and from our home page we don't need any of this yeah yeah we don't need this we just build this and see this how this looks again yep that's so now we are going to add some stuff here so let's go to our item class and add a navigation property here for our order details because we are going to use that in uh, our home so let's just add list and make it order details to be here order Get and sit. Now, after we're done with that, with adding this order detail list here, we're going to show the top uh, selling items based on the order details in our home uh, page. So let's go to our home controller and uh, let's add shopping store entities. Shopping store entities. And we go ahead and add a method here. We call it uh, get top selling items. So here, let's just say private and list of items. Now, as you can see here, I I went into the order details and I counted uh, the uh, how, for each item how many times it was bought, and I'm going to return it uh, by descending from the, from the most uh, wanted item to the least, and it shows them as a list. So now in our index method here, let's get a var to get our top selling items. So let's type in here items and type in the method get top selling items and get the first five items and the view here let's return items now we go to our home view so go into views and get the index here and in the index let's just um, get a view back to show uh, to show the title of our page so we said it's going to be called shopping store in our home page and let's add a, um, a ul here and to be let's just do this and here let's go 
and add it to be ID here to be item list and let's loop for each of uh, var item and model Let's go ahead and show a list of And here it gives the store item ID and show the uh, let's show the image for each one of them. And get a span here to show the item title. So here So let's save this, build it, and let's go ahead and run it. So as you can see here for the item, we have speaker, which one of the most vote. And then we have new lamp. We don't have a picture for that. Let's just see where is the... Let's add a picture to lamp. If we went into tables here and get our items so for here for the lamp let's get the same here and just put it right there and then save this let's close our connection now 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 let's close this close that and now uh, let's close our connection so as you can see here, we had the speaker as the first one to be shown and then the new lamp, which we bought a lot. And if we had any more items, it would show us those items uh, in descending order of how many people actually bought that item. So if you had like uh, tens of thousands, it would show the first five or whatever you um, specify. So if we want to have like... Uh, just two so let's go our to our into our home controller and just specify here to be two and this is going to show us only two uh most both items so here let's just see this again so as you can see here it showed us only two so the speaker and the, the new lamp not on the, not like this one that showed us as uh, a also the lamp um so if when we compile when we build the project again and we put two items in our uh, home controller here for get top selling items it only showed us the top two selling items and that's about it for this section hope you guys enjoyed and learned and see you in the next section